this is <clears throat> so as you see I've not spoken in 36 hours now so uh, this is a continuation because I did the pretty much the same um, video event uh, yesterday but oh, I, have to, I shouldn't say this but I got carried away and it went on and on and on and on so I just deleted it. It was a good one though. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so this is the, the state of things. Now, <clears throat> one of the reasons why I'm doing this is that <clears throat> um, you know, I spend so much of my time typing on the stupid computer and I don't want to get really sick of it. Okay, so here's what I got. There, 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 there. Okay, as is fitting. We'll begin with um, the rhubarb. Um, okay, let's get it. okay, so there's some rhubarb. I've got four different kinds of tomatoes. I forget their I mean, I don't forget their names. I, I, won't, I won't enumerate them. Um, okay, so I'll keep all the backstories out there. And that's, oh shit, what is it called? That for lavender. I just got that on a, on a whim. I have a couple of different kinds, three kinds of peppers. I've got bell peppers. What's that? That's cachofi. What are they called? Artichokes in the back. Uh, okay, some more backstory. The ladies didn't think I could do it. So, I, you know, I got the ladies when they pulled out on me. Okay, and that's the begonia. That's the, some some sort of special. <coughs> begonia. Begonia. Shit. Begonia. Okay, so. I'm not hearing much feedback about the garden, but okay, you know, but now I've said you'll be punished. Okay, maybe not bad enough. Um, here I can't resist. I've been dying to, to reveal this. Okay, this is the larger version. Okay, and coming near your home soon, you'll see it's like 40 fruit posters. Remember, you remember Union that we're working for? Okay, so this is temporary. This is going out. My big existential question now is the, um, the soil, the gardening soil. But I, I guess I need maybe 15, maybe? Um, so how I'm going to get it to fields. We're working on it. Uh, Team Westerway is working on it. Okay, there's my lawn there. My lemon's not looking good. It was, it did really well until three weeks ago. Okay, so let's go out here. This is going to be sure I'm keeping this under a few, a few minutes. Okay, so the other item of interest is the potatoes. You, I, you probably can't see them, but they're there. Yeah, they're, do, they're doing really well. The tree, that started to be about five and a half or six feet. Now it's that, and that's my little rust and picked up it. And I have coffins. And I was going to ask for information yesterday at uh, Patuxent, but they were sort of assholey, so I didn't. Okay, this thing is, in, no matter what the weather is, it's thriving. Strawberries are striving. They're not striving. Drying. Shit, you see. I have a union meeting in two minutes, five minutes. Okay, the kale and the lettuce, they were, you know, they were. I bought those at Mom's and said, I don't really care. This is the thing. And I can't get a response from my jerk off contractor for it. Okay, so the, uh, the biggest news in Greenbelt since sent something since Trump left, since the insurrection, is my fig tree. And look at this. It, we didn't really get any figs last year. Um, they developed, but then the, the cold came and took them away. Now, uh, they it took them weeks, months, I don't remember anymore, to get started. But these are all, I mean, these are really doing wonderfully superbly. So, and these leaves are already big. And God, I wish I'd bought two, but imagine. Okay, so this is going to end up being, to this year, eight feet high. And so next year, it'll be about 10 feet high. Maybe it's a good thing. So, so the original plan was to, to make them uh, symmetrical there. But I would have liked that. But you notice, since I'm half of the um, this used to be a little flat, plain area with, roses, stupid flowers, and, uh, the 
only reason that I didn't pull an azalea is it's too big. The roots are got to be I would have to just cut it off at the, at the plant level, and then I don't know. I don't know if you could get that root out. I'm not sure. I don't really care. But so I'll leave it. It's very pretty. So there, but I have not quite, so I've got what you call it, I've got, I always forget what these things are called, I can't remember, beds, planters, planters, whatever they're called, I have those there, and my new address thing, which has never been put on it, and I've got two or three of the grow bags as well, so that's those, that's all a work in project, project. God. it's just too much, I've been, talking to one of my Heidegger friends in Austria. Okay, so this was clear, but then I realized that it was too clear. So the team and I brought them in. Okay, so I just get carried away. I'm gonna get kind of clingy here. Okay, and so there's that. I, I like, I'm not sure if anyone else likes that, but I like it. And I had an epiphany here. Sorry, this is a little bit messy. I'm going to turn this into a, um, uh, what are we going to call it? An ancillary Zoom room. Okay, and so I'm going to start doing some of my Zooms here from the table there. And exactly what I'm going to do it on, I've not decided. But, uh, okay, let's do this. Let's, so I have all this south asian color and there's the bland plain winter jardin de luce 